back at the beginning of January, I ordered a open source kind of DIY pick and place machine. For those of you who don't know what pick and place is, it picks up the tiny, tiny surface mount parts and using a camera and motorized things, aligns it with the circuit board and puts them in the exact right position. Because although we can do that by hand, I have done it by hand, it's incredibly tedious and tiresome. And that's why most people don't do it by hand. They either use through hole components, the larger components by hand, or surface mount by machinery. And it's a big barrier to small makers like myself making that leap because we don't want to have massive giant companies do this on our behalf at great expense. We like making things ourselves, but we can't get into it. Anyway, the options in the market are very poor. The professional machines are a quarter of a million pounds and upwards. We don't need them anyway. We wouldn't have the space for them. They're huge. The desktop industry, as it were, are again, still expensive unless you go to cheap China clones. Now you can get a cheap Chinese clone with cameras for about 5,000 quid, once you've added in import fees, V18, which is doable, but problem is they don't work. They're really, really, really poorly supported. And a lot of the parts on it are just, are just blind copies that don't work. And you can find documented information sort of the internet, because from their perspective, you're buying a clone of a quarter million pound machine for five grand. What do you expect? From our perspective, we'd kind of like it to work. So it's not an option. Anyway, the open source scene has been making these for a while. And one particular chap um, who runs his company on the name Opulo makes the Lumen. And he's taking it far more seriously. And he's turned it into a business enterprise to develop this thing. So that's what I've invested in. I'm going to talk a little more about that today and show that to you a little bit more as I continue my journey of Opulo. So this is an assembled Lumen Opulo. This was a delight. It arrived sooner than I expected. It's mostly pre-assembled. It's really quite easy to just bolt this section on, bolt this section on, and put it together. Now, I haven't had it running, which is a bit of a shame, because it turns out one of the little caveats, there's going to be lots of these caveats when you put these things together, I know there are, is that it can't run off a laptop. And I had a laptop sat around dedicated for it because it has two cameras plus control board so it's got three usbs and the trouble with a camera the usb2 camera which is the standard on these is it takes up the entire bandwidth of the usb port and it doesn't matter if you've got eight or ten of them you've only got one root hub so by plugging in the camera it pretty much maxes out everything straight away and all the other ports are useless so if you try and plug two cameras in it fails so i've had to buy a little computer and this is quite cool this is, I can't believe the actual specific model is, um, but it's basically a Core i5 computer from about seven or eight years old uh, with a solid state drive. Cost me £90 and it's absolutely brilliant, this little Think Center. i5-6600, 8 gig of RAM solid state drive. And the great thing about this particular thing is it's not too big, it's compact, and we can also get these usb cards now of course every time you buy a usb card it has a new chip on so it has a new root hub so again we'll only use one port on this card one camera one card full bandwidth because the card speaks to the cpu and so what i'm doing today he's come apart wonderfully is fitting these in so being think pads everything's thought out now you see i've already put one card in here and hopefully this one will just go in there we go lovely jubbly Make sure it's aligned at the top, lock that in place. And now we've got our two USB cards ready to roll. Simple as that. I'm going to set this up on remote desktop so that I won't need a monitor. It'll be headless, no monitor, no keyboard, no mouse. And it'll just speak directly to this machine and be dedicated to this machine because I've got a faster main computer under the desk. So hopefully that'll work. And hopefully in the next video, you'll get to see this thing moving around where it will pick up these tiny little parts that you see hidden under the tape. These are LEDs and those are resistors. I'll put my finger here for size comparison. Okay, and it will pick them. It will basically pick a tool out of the rack. Using that tool, it will pick the parts up, carry them over this camera, check their alignment, and then place them very carefully on this board in the correct spots, ready for soldering. So that should be pretty cool.